Today is vlogging at 1,107. Where's the taco truck? I am hungry. morning. I'm up before the crack of dawn. It's is still very dark outside to go ride bikes along the Tour de France route before they finish sealing it off. It should be great. I've always wanted to do this. I'm going to be going with Bike About Tours, the usual suspect, and uh, we, we're leaving at exactly 6.30, so I've got to, uh, I'm actually going to take an Uber this morning because I want to make sure that I'm there early, and at this rate, I'm, I might be late if I take the metro because it's kind of early for the metro to be running smoothly. On a Sunday, there's no way I'm going to get there on time, so... Uh, oh, that's not where I want to get picked up. So let's get out of here. I just got to wait for the guy to show up. So is the scary part. Will he, will he show up? Will he not? The nice thing is there'll be absolutely no traffic. And that's what makes this whole experience cool this morning is that the route will be closed off, but not sealed yet. So my understanding is no cars will be allowed on the track. And so we'll be able to go and ride and just kind of go, go nuts before they close it off completely and the race happens this afternoon. So I don't know what the exact timeline of that is, but personally, I don't really want to crowd in with tens of thousands of people just to see the bikes whiz past. I, I'm kind of like anti-crowd right now. Maybe I'll do it next year, but at the moment, ugh, I don't want to do that. However, this is going to be a cool experience that I've not had before. And I think it makes for a more unique experience to say, I rode the racetrack the morning of the Tour de France and I crossed the finish line before they ever made it close. <laughs> I don't you, you know what I mean. We'll jump in the car and, and ride our way down here in a second. Bonjour. I always feel weird taking an Uber in town because I hate, it's like I have cars in the city, it's terrible. Now we're about to make our own Peloton though in honor of the cafe. 30 people all going together kind of make like, it feel like the slowest version of the race possible. <laughs> You've got Vlad, and you'll hear Vlad because he's the human uh, boombox there. It's <laughs> <laughs> the fire This is amazing. I love Sunday mornings in Paris. This is the best riding around. How are you doing, Tanya? I'm great. Yeah? Yeah. It's a beautiful morning. It doesn't suck. <laughs> That's, that is a great review right there. <laughs> oh, and the biking is fun too. And that is, that is also good. Just past the Louvre behind us and Musée d'Orsay, whoa, on the left. Making some really great, really great progress here. This is awesome. My legs are gonna be on fire because I'm getting no breaks on the wheel. But aside from that, feel my, when you can feel the muscles in your shins, you know you're using them. I guess is the most profound thing I have to say this morning. Yikes. You're cheating there, Jay. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying.
Never change, Vlad. <laughs> <laughs> Never change. One quick random observation. There are leaves everywhere, and the trees here in the Tuileries look super dry. The, uh, the heat wave, look at this. These, these leaves, it's nuts. I feel like the, I don't know if this is the case, but it seems like the heat wave just brought on an early fall as far as a bunch of these trees are concerned. It's very pretty, but kind of disconcerting that it's happening that early. We're about to take the tunnel under the loop, or going like we're crosswise the way they do in the race. We're on the track now. We're gonna make a loop around the Tuileries, up the Jean Elysees, and then back down and back to the cafe. Extended bike lanes, so amazing. Oh man, makes a huge difference. That didn't used to be a bike lane. Like even I, months ago, last time I, I feel like last time I was on the street, it wasn't a bike lane still. This day is officially a success, and it's not even 7.30 yet. They're making all kinds of noise over there. I wonder, if, are the cyclists on those buses? What's going on? This is about as close to riding in the Tour de France as I'm ever gonna get, that's for sure. This, uh, this is amazing. My, uh, all the tiny muscles in my lower legs are ready for this to be over already. I mean, we're only halfway done, but I can definitely say if you're gonna be here for the Tour de France next year, you should wake up early, go for a ride along the route like this. It's phenomenal. It's so quiet and calm out here. I'm still asleep. <laughs> I'm ready to go back to bed. <laughs> How many years have you been doing this morning ride? I think this is our fifth year this year doing it. Yeah. And this is our biggest turnout, which is awesome. And you have two in the morning? You have one at 6.30 and one at 7? Yeah, the 7 o'clock one was um, kind of one um, travel group that kind of did that one. Yeah. And this one at 6.30 is just all individuals, couples, families. Do people just sign up on the website for it? Yep, just sign up online. It's on there from early in the season and try to get as many in the peloton as we can. Strength in numbers. Also, if you sign up with these guys, there's a little drop down. Make sure to give me credit too. <laughs> Let them know I sent you. Helps me out, helps them out. And you get to ride around on the Champs Elysees first thing in the morning before the Tour de France. Everybody wins. It's fantastic. photo. It's a good thing we got out early. We're on our way back and they're already closing everything down. So we got to do it at the crack of dawn. They closed the secret tunnel for security purposes this year, unfortunately. But the upside is it's more fun to film riding through the Louvre. Riding through the Louvre is way prettier. As long as you've gone through the secret tunnel once. 
Lots of men are supposed to say, good! Whoa, that was so close. Amber's just flying around taking photos this whole time. She's doing all the extra work. She's doing, she's like riding double. You almost clocked your knee I, on that one. Oh, uh, that was a really close call. <laughs> that was great. I've been wanting to do this for like the last two years. Missed out on it every time. I think last year was just because I didn't want to wake up. But worth it, worth waking up for. If you want to bounce down, that was great. The rest of my day is, I don't know. I have some work to do, go by the office put this together, my computer's at the office. I left it there last night, which was great. Finished everything, left it behind. It's really cool to be able to just finish work and leave my laptop and not have to worry about it anymore. So, it just means I'm required to go collect it if I wanna I can get anything else done, so. Started at the Peloton, we're gonna end at the Peloton. Amber, I don't know if you just saw her whiz past me, is uh, getting ready to take yet more photos. You'll recognize her from the photo tours that I've done, photo tours and photo shoots that I've done with them. And oh, look at this, some morning champagne. You got some champagne for us there, Paul? Yay! <laughs> Go, go, go. Yeah. 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 I have five, so. Hello, baby.